Hey kids, this is clear. Let's play Green Castle, double exits. Now, we've got everything we need. We've decided on our party. For this one, it's going to be Ben and Biff, both of our bishops. To get into Ethereal, you need something that contains light first, the lantern. Something that contains life, the egg. And something that contains nothing, our box. Box, box, box. When you have all these things, step onto this area. And promptly get assaulted by weird sounds. Now, is this area? This is probably a pretty tough area. Let's see what's all around here. That's right, if you save at that well, you will not be able to get back. Once you're in Ethereal, you're in Ethereal for good, so make sure you can fight here. Let's make sure we can fight here. There's a fight coming up, probably. And that's weird, it uses different fight music. Well, no complaint here, I like that music. Anyway. Huh. Poison all those. Cold, seriously. Oh, hey, that's new. I forgot, all of your equipment that you used, the la lantern, egg, and box, they all change once you get to this area, so... Stop with the holy light, seriously. And we'll just take care of that guy, because we can. How do you react to this? Gonna make sure I can actually survive a standard fight. It shouldn't be too tough. That guy up there seems weak to light, so I'll just have Biff there use light spells on him a whole bunch. I don't know if I clarified this in earlier videos, but Break will turn whoever it hits to stone, provided they're not resistant to it, but. You know, for all the tech points it costs, eight, not really worth the trouble. Death Head might be worth the trouble later. What it does is, if the target has half her health, then they die, so... Since Ben can cast it, but it costs all his tech points, it's... I don't know, maybe worth our trouble? Maybe, probably not. Holy Light for you. And let's see. Let's do this. I think we can probably hit that guy with Death Head just to show it off, so let's try it. Death Head! Dope. Oh well. That was new. I guess Blizzard is like cold except it hits all targets, which is stupid. You are stupid. And I am doing badly. Why am I making so many boneheaded mistakes here? Well, since your turn is wasted, do that. You want to make sure a death head's going to hit if you're going to use it, because otherwise you're going to waste a lot of Ben's tech points and it'll just be silly. You're silly! You are silly and also dead. Stomp you. I don't think I have to worry too much about healing at this point. Maybe I do. I don't know. Do I look like the kind of guy who pays attention to what he's doing? No. Alright. And yeah, full cure pretty much completely heals a target, but let's see if you've mastered normal cure yet. Because that's still pretty good. Actually, screw seeing if you master, just crush him under your heel. Or not, because apparently his physical defense is through the roof, and he has firewall, which is loud. You know what? Whatever. We won the fight. We can handle Ethereal, probably. And we got ourselves an Ethereal suit. And a whole bunch of pawns, of course. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, the Ethereal lamp. 
I don't know what that does. I think if you normally attack with light, it'll increase your max tech points to something insane. But, you know, the ethereal suit itself keeps the resistances to earth and metal. Lowers your magic defense like crazy, though, as compared to the earth vest, which lower physical defense, but, you know, and we'll give you just the mirror. You don't need to attack with light right now. The ethereal egg, as you saw, starts them out at max tech points and also still makes them resist light. Whatever. Not resist light, but, you know, resist poison. Whatever that thing is. You know what? We'll give you the ethereal lamp for fun. As for you, the ethereal box, I think it lowers his defense somewhat, but it makes him resist every single status effect in the game. Which is nice, actually. I like that, but... Can't decide what to give you. Black carrot, maybe? No, why am I bothering with the black carrot? You... Ethereal egg. We will give you that. And another one of these fights with all these things you've seen before. So, one moment while I take care of that. So, funny story, those ice lords can't actually be hit with physical attacks. Also, we got an ethereal cape and white. That's right, the ethereal suit makes you... And the mirror should balance out. I'm a moron sometimes. Whatever. In any case, we got ourselves an ethereal cape, so what does that do? Resists light and dark, and also prevents muting. That's pretty good, I think. I think I will stick with that. There's probably more equipment to be found around here, but I don't recall what it is. Oh, hey, I forgot we have a plot. Io is losing his grip on the world. Io is... What? That... What? This is... doesn't make any sense. Whatever, man. Whatever. And more loud teleporters. So if we go up here, there are those four jerks. If we go this way, eyeball monsters. If we go this way, those two jokers from way early in the game. And this way is chess knights and chess bishops. Let's go this way. Hey, it's another rook. What is this? Oh, hello. Let's go in a fight with the monk, the doppelganger, and the warlock. These guys should not be too tough, although we might run out. See, they're casting toxin. Why are you bothering with toxin? You have failed me forever. As you can see, they carry our resistances and stats and everything, so... You will want to be careful. Sort of. Let's see, I think actually that guy's weak to dark. I don't know if the other two have weaknesses though, so... You know, let's just pile on whatever we can. This is not a tough fight. It's kind of a tough fight, but not really. Alright, a uh, heal, I guess. I don't have much to say at this point. Especially since the bishops are continuing to be useless. Here, we'll dark force you, because I think you're using the red rope for some stupid, stupid reason. Seriously, this fight would be a lot more threatening if the AI in this game was worth anything. This is just Master Skull all over again. This is just sad. Alright, and as for you... Stomp your doppelganger. Yeah, that was a bad idea. I don't care. Yeah, see that? Even with their stupid AI, they can still do damage if they manage to get the right type of hit. As you can see, that's not too much of an issue. And it turns out this moron mastered Cure, so... 
May as well throw it out. Let's see. Stomp the Warlock. Seriously, you call this a threat? I wonder if Deathhead will work on you. It doesn't work on all targets, apparently. Let's find out. Deathhead! Yeah, I guess if you resist dark, it doesn't work. That's annoying. I like Deathhead. Well, whatever. Let's hurry up and finish this fight. Finish him! There we go. And we get 999 pawns. I'm Kalir. This has been Let's Play Green Castle Double Exodus. Next time, we're going to explore the rest of the parts of Ethereal. See you then.